loves, we are here to celebrate and witness the marriage ceremony between these two friends before us. And I, I will say this, sometimes certain things would come up, my phone rings and Roger, hey man, you know, can you talk? You know, yeah, okay, sure thing. And I'm on the phone with Roger, and then I get a call. Hold on, no, somebody else is calling. Hello, Whitney. What what is going on right now? <laughs> when I met Roger, and then I saw you guys kind of interact together, we spent some time around each other. I thought, that actually, this might be it. This might work right here <laughs> because they really complement each other. Roger, I know you can agree that you you're getting you have the best of the best with Whitney. And eventually y'all will have a house full of little Rogers and little Whitney's running around, you know. You known each other through the dating phase, but now the marriage phase is a whole nother level of getting to know you. So you have to study each other, learn each other. It's a whole difference in learning somebody, being in the house with them all the time. They ain't gonna go away. And so you have to learn what makes them happy, learn what makes them mad accentuate the positive and eliminate the negative and just let the Lord be in it and you all will be blessed. I love you all both. I do give my life to you today and every day I will stand right by your side Whatever comes I'll wait Storms of life May blow and blow But they won't When I could stand We'll stand Upon the vows that you have taken, and by virtue of my legal authority as a gospel minister, I now pronounce you husband and wife, no longer twain, but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let not man put aside.